Hello, bees. Welcome back to my channel. Just Missy. I miss you, of course. Today, I have what I think is going to be kind of a fun video. Lots of cleaning motivation going on. My house got trashed over the weekend. The whole family was home. So this isn't going to be a deep clean with me, but it's one of those clean with me's that you need because everything is just everywhere and there's dirt and grime and the whole family was home and everything just looks blah. Yeah, that's what we're doing. And then on top of it, I'm going to be adding some shelves to my pantry. My husband and I did a deep clean, like organize my pantry with me a couple videos back. I can link it down below. So the heavy lifting has already been done in there, but we're going to be adding some shelves. I bought some new burners for my stove. I bought a new towel for my bathroom. It's just like this little plant I have hanging up here. I bought that plant with a little um, hanger and I added it and it just makes my room feel all fresh and new. So I guess that's kind of what we're going to do. We're going to do like a tidy up clean with me and just add some things to brighten up the space. I don't know about you, but it's like buying a new shirt. It's still you, but because you have a new shirt on, it just feels fresh and new. That's kind of what we're going to be doing today. And another thing too is I bought these really pretty towels. Um, they're Pioneer Women towels. My kitchen's pretty much done in Pioneer Woman everything. So I finally bought these towels. So I'm going to be putting them on my stove too to like brighten up my stove space. The goal is to keep my family from not using them. Does anybody else have this problem in their family that when you have decorative towels on your stove, your your bathroom, wherever it may be, that they just cannot grasp the concept that there is towels that you use and that are towels for decoration. They're just there to sit and look pretty. Why is that so hard for men and children to grasp? Like, why is that so hard? So my goal is to keep these towels on my stove and in my bathroom for as long as I can without being molested by family members. Ooh, that sounded terrible. I take that back used I don't know is there any word that you can use that doesn't sound weird but I think you catch my drift I don't want anybody touching my towels they're decorative they're not to be used <laughs> so we're gonna clean and tidy up and dress up the home a little bit and make it feel fresh and clean so this should be great cleaning motivation it should be to inspire you to do something in your home even if it's just one room do what you can. If you got one room you can go in and clean and maybe add a towel or a new decorative piece or add a shelf to to make you feel good about your space, then I encourage you to do it. This is your motivation to do it. We'll do it together. I'll put this to some fun music. We'll probably speed this up a little bit so we're getting things done. And I'm going to shut up and try to make this video, the intro part of this video, short and sweet and not 20 minutes. Let's do this. All right, lovies, let's start out with some laundry motivation. Get that laundry in, get the machine working while we work on the rest of the house. Looks good. Yeah, that's straight. You sure you don't need a pen? Just more. Okay.
god, are you sure that's just that? I'm hungry, I'm telling you. My stomach is growling. You think? <laughs> What did you do? Oh. That moved, huh? Oh, okay. That's moving. Do you need the drill? Hey, that's my job. You don't even know how to fold a decorative towel. Do you? <laughs> what the hell are you laughing at? This is you. Oh, look. I guess I do. Uh, no, you don't. But it'll work, honey. Yeah, I can rip the thing right to back the back down. No, it's huh? okay. I'll fix it after you leave. Oh, after I leave, I see. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh -huh. Looks good. My favorite color. I'll get the tag and fix it. That's a nice little update. Looks good. Yeah, buddy. I'm happy. Now I just got to get a swag and this little place will be in business. So we went to Walmart and we got these long stacking shelves for the pantry. If you guys remember my um, clean my pantry out with me video, we did a really good job cleaning it all out, but we definitely needed some kind of like shelving unit in there because the, the it's just so deep and the spaces were so big but we didn't have these when we cleaned out the pantry so we are going to take everything out and stack everything back up on these shelves which will take us no time at all because we already pretty much did all the heavy lifting when we cleaned out the pantry the first time Right guys, so much more organized, so much more room. We can see everything. These shelves, I think were a great idea. I might go back and get another shelf for the top. I only bought one for there because that is the top shelf and I wasn't sure if I'd be able to reach, but I think, I think I will. So I might go back and get one more for up there so we can stack them like these down here. But they're, oh, I think they're $7.99 at Walmart. And they hold a lot. So I definitely recommend them. I definitely think they're getting the job done. I'm going to go back and see if I can't find um, a clip from the older video of what this pantry looked like before we organized it and show you that to this. This is a hundred times better. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Cool, babe. Now lose my swag and play the fool, babe. Just play the game and hold on, maybe. But I'm done with the waiting, done with the waiting. I'm done with playing nice. Now look me in the eyes. Tell me, tell me, tell me what you see inside. Not gonna ask you twice. Not looking for your lies. Tell me, tell me, do you wanna go?
My cast iron skillet with a little bit of olive oil and salt, but if anybody has something better to keep your cast iron skillet seasoned and from rusting, rusting, please leave it down below in the comments. I would love to hear because I really want to take care of my cast iron skillet. I'm kind of new to it. I definitely know you need to keep it seasoned, otherwise it rusts and it gets really nasty. This seems to be working, but if anybody has a better way of doing this, I would love to hear it. Close. I lose my way and I freeze I wish you knew
you get too close I lose my way and I freeze I wish you knew what power you have over me But now it's so hard to breathe mm -hmm. Just get me out of here We got a lot done today. That pantry, we got it all restocked. Need the new shelves in. I got my beautiful towels up. My stove is sparkling. And my burners. They actually look like burners. My kitchen's cleaned. My living room is dusted and vacuumed and decorated for spring. And I feel much better about my main living space. Because my kitchen and my living room are my main living spaces. And they, they need the most attention. They just get gnarly. And you know, there's only four of us and two dogs, but you'd swear there's like 10 people living here. But anyways, I hope it motivated you today. I hope this helped you get your butt in gear. And like I said earlier, guys, my goal with these kinds of videos is to make you feel good about your space. And I say this all the time, whether you live in a mobile home or a mansion, you need to be grateful for what God has given you and take care of what God has given you. Because if you take care of little, I guarantee you, you'll be blessed with a lot. So just take care of what you got. And if you're someone like myself who's dealing with health problems, you're a plus size person, maybe you're a little bit older, you know, I have lymphedema. I have all different kinds of things going on with my life. I do what I can and I don't feel guilty about what I can't do. So if you can just do a little bit today, I know one thing. <sighs> my bras are always showing. Side note, side note. We're doing a little side note on here. 
If anybody else out there in YouTube world is a plus size woman, can you please give this video a big thumbs up that because they make plus size shirts, why do they make the tops of the plus size shirts fit like you have a neck this big so that no matter what you wear, your bra straps are constantly hanging out of your tights? Okay, my rant is over. Back to what I was saying before. If you have some health issues, <laughs> maybe you're a little bit older. I don't know what's going on in your life. I have my own issues. All I know is I do what I can. And if I have to sit in between, if it takes me all day, whatever. When I write out my goals, that's my intentions for the day. And if it takes me all day to meet it, then it takes me all day to meet it. But I will get it done. I'll get it done in my timing and in my way. And that's all that matters because I'm blessed by what God has given me, this beautiful mobile home, and I'm going to take care of it the very best that I can in the best way I can. And I'm not going to expect anything else from me that I can't do and set myself up for failure. So I just want to give you this little encouragement because I do get comments where people are like, I wish I could do more or I wish I could do this. Don't even say those kinds of things. I understand the feelings because I've been there, done that, and I've learned that if I live my life wishing and then regret, it's a stealer of the moment, and the moment is a present, and you need to, that's why they call it the present. You need to live in the present and open it up and enjoy every second of the present that God has blessed you with today. Do what you can, even if it's just one room for 15 minutes. And be thrilled that you did that. And tomorrow, hit another spot for 15 minutes. Little, little, teeny, tiny things add up to big things in the end. So I'm not going to sit here and preach. But I want everybody to know that they are capable and they can do whatever they set their mind to. It does not have to be done in a certain place, a certain way, a certain time, or how she did it or how he did it. Do it your way. And just be happy that you did it. And then your little mobile home or wherever you live, your little city apartment, your country home, wherever you are, can be your mansion. And just be grateful for what you have because it starts out with gratefulness. If you're grateful for what God has given you, it'll change your, your perception of things. And if you can see the space that you live in through different eyes, you'll have a totally different outlook of wanting to take care of what God has blessed you with. Okay, I'm done preaching. And these brush shots are driving me crazy. So I'm going to go now. I love you guys. I hope you have a great blessed day. As always, whether it's a mobile home or mansion, take care of what God has given you. Take care of you. God bless. I love you. God loves you. Have a beautiful day. And I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys. Bye.